Hello and welcome back to Planet 40k. So Warhammer Community have released their new Codex Erratas and FAQs today and this has a few changes for us Necron players and our Space Marine players alike. So just going to be a short video today just going through some of these changes. So starting off with the Necron side of things with the Canoptic Reanimator. This thing didn't get much love for many of the players including myself. I didn't rate it that highly at all. Now Games Workshop have taken notice and decided to drop the Canoptic Reanimator's price from 110 points down to 80. So that's a 30 point price drop there for us. The power level has also dropped down to a power level of 4. So will we finally start to see some use with the reanimators? I mean I'm guessing not. As for me they're still a bad unit and still too pricey. But at least now only 6 warriors coming back on dice rolls of 4 will make their points back up. And with heavy warrior list they may hold a little bit of value but they still won't get 5 star by any means. The Nightbringer has also seen some changes to its profile. Previously it was a 350 point model. It's now unfortunately gone to a 370 point model and the power level went up from 18 power level to 19 power level. Now this thing is a beast and in my opinion was the strongest out of the three Catan shards, especially with that scythe leaving absolutely no save whatsoever. Now Catan shards in general are very strong units but this one in particular was a menace. So a 20 point increase it is then. I'd like to see maybe the other two have decreases rather than this one get an increase. Because I still think all three are a tad pricey, but at least they're elite units and not Lords of War, I guess. This may see people opting to use the Void Dragon more, as the unit is still a 350 point model. Maybe they didn't sell as many Void Dragon models as planned, so this switch up may help. Also worth a little side mention here, there is a change to this Bring It Down secondary objective, which will now urge players to start to bring more vehicle units to the tabletop. And this is where the Void Dragon shines most, being an anti-vehicle Catan shard, so expect to see more Void Dragons popping up. The final Necron change is the Triarch Stalker, so it now has the Quantum Shielding keyword within its datasheet. Now within the Planet 40k community, we kind of gathered that this was just an error, as it had the Quantum Shielding ability, it just didn't have the keyword, and it couldn't actually use the stratagem giving it a 4 plus invun save, again due to the lack of the keyword. So Games Workshop have fixed this thankfully, so happy days on that one. That's the Necron changes, not masses of changes there, but a few that you do need to be aware of. Moving on to the Space Marine side of the Errata. The stratagem that we were all waiting for Games Workshop to nerf has finally been nerfed, the Combat Revival stratagem, which gives an apothecary the ability to bring back a single model to full wounds. Now, you can still do this, but it can't be used on the Invader ATV models anymore. That used to be mega OP, so it did need to be patched up in fairness. Inceptors have seen a change of their points and power level. They were previously 40 points a model and they're now 45 points a model, so a slight increase per model there. Their power has gone from a power level 6 to a power level 7. And if you do take 4 or more, it's actually going to be a power level of 14, not 12. The Eradicators took a similar point increase going from 40 to 45 per model and their power level from 6 to a 7. And again, with 4 models or more, it's going to be a power level of 14. The final change here is the Outriders. They've gone from a 45 point model to a 50 point model. So only a subtle change but it's still 5 points a model. So those Death Watch players in particular that have been telling me about being able to take 5 in a kill team unit will now need to cough up 25 points more to run that unit. The Blood Angels supplement, the Space Wolf supplement and the Death Watch supplement seem to have all gone unscathed. It's just the actual Space Marine Codex that has seen changes. So that's all I've got for you for the Erratas and FAQs. Thought I'd share it with you as a lot of players don't always know about these type of rule changes so I thought I'd get the word out. Now let me know in the comments, do you agree with these changes? Do you think they're fair? Do you think they're unfair? What other changes would you like Games Workshop to put in place? Like, as I already mentioned, I think the Catan shards are actually all too expensive. Although the Nightbringer is still the better one so it should be the more expensive unit. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. So guys and girls, don't forget to check out our Patreon service for those early access videos and polls and all that other good 40k related stuff. It massively helps in funding the channel, so take a look at that if you can. You can find us on both Twitter and Instagram to where at some point in 2021 we are going to begin doing giveaways to our followers and patrons. So give us a follow on both of those to keep on top of that. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Then finally, remember to like the video on the way out. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.